Luigi out? I mean, I think he's going to try to, but... But see, here's the thing, too, because if I've seen anything about both these two players, Delta Force has really good lead trapping, already a really good neutral, but it might be a little bit harder for, you know, um, Scott to actually get out. It, especially since a lot of the time, a lot of these lead traps can kill and do so much damage. It just gets so scary on the end of Delta Force, but... If I can see anything, I feel like the one thing that Scott might have over this matchup is that it might be a, just a little bit easier for, you know, Scott to do a lot more damage to Delta Force than Delta Force can do to Scott. I think kills are also going to be really important here. Oh, and Luigi Cyclone. That thing, like, Luigi has so many combo breakers, and Link kind of doesn't. <laughs> And if you're a Luigi well, player, you... Link has an air. Well, there's not... It's fast, but it's not Isn't Luigi it Cyclone. No, I'm pretty sure it's frame, frame 4. I think it might be frame 4, at least. Um, we, we can double-check that later. But regardless, I think that Luigi is combo-breaking a lot. I mean, also, like, what is combo-breaking a Luigi combo? You know? <laughs> Ooh, but this is definitely really scary right now because we already had Delta Force lose his first stock and definitely having to do something to put in a little bit more effort to take this stock right here and just nearing all over the place and getting Whoa. that grab and not getting too much off it, but still doing a lot of damage, reading dead? all these positions. Oh. I wish I could say that right now because that'd be such a good way to start off this first game right here, but no, trying to go for a read a little bit right there, especially since... Link doesn't have too many long combos, so Delta Force really has to be a little bit patient about how he actually goes about these things. But we're already starting off with that up smash, taking out that second stock with a three stock lead. This is so good on Scott's end. Yeah, and I love the fact that the, the up smash is basically, it covers what the grab doesn't, you know? That a lot oh, going to be cleaning up right there. But, you know, when you think of Luigi's about to grab you, what do you want to do? You want to jump. You want to jump away. And that's when Up Smash just comes in and slams you for doing so. This Absolutely. is now three stocks to one. Uh, sorry, two stocks to one, rather. But this is this is a really grim position if you are Delta Force, especially because every time you get hit once, it might mean your death. And uh, you only have so many chances to not let that happen to you. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. All right, that was pretty decisive, I would say. <laughs> uh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. What adjustments need to be made here? Um, Honestly, for one I would like to say that the one thing that's really keeping Delta Force from doing a lot is the fact that he's not used to all of his combos breaking. Yeah. Think about it. A lot of the time, yeah, we've yeah. seen him not be able to get a lot of the proper combo tools that he, he needs. So he needs to be able to say, hey, I know you're going to do this right here, but I'm going to need you to stop so that I can then kill you. Because this could lead to situations where Delta Force can even read that and go for an F smash. Or even go for something that might be a little bit better to continue his advantage. Like, I think we might see it. I don't think it's going to be in this one. That's going to be where he kills. But maybe in an earlier clip, I'm not entirely sure. A lot of the time, we've just seen so much combo breaking on Luigi's end, and you have to stop those and put them in yeah. their place. Not only is it the combo breaking, it's also, I feel like he hasn't, Scott's not being ledge trapped, really. Yep. He's not taking, you know, 100% every time he gets put at the ledge. He's getting off pretty freely, and I think part of that is, you know, things like Cyclone, these moves that Delta Force is not quite respecting. I think that... Yeah, okay, this is this is a little more in line with what would hypothetically be happening here. Yeah, there we go. This Absolutely. is the ledge trapping that we know he is capable of doing. And, oh, ah, I like that because he actually forced the jump from Scott, but then wasn't able to actually catch the landing. This stage in particular helping us Scott out just a little bit. And how did that hit? I don't know. <laughs> I would love to tell you, but I don't know. Oh, and that good, was really good, nice good. getting that edge guard right there with the bomb. But again, I really want to talk about how we already seen it in that first game. That's Woo! what led to so much damage, and we're already seeing so much damage being put on and really nice waiting for that. Very nice. Again, we're yeah. seeing a lot of these weights on the ends. This is exactly what we were talking about. Oh, not my God. That, not only that, we're seeing less about, like, for instance, we're not seeing nearly as much neutral air because instead he's opting to abuse the range that Link has. Things like up tilt, things like forward air. Are you dead? 
Very possibly. You still have... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. Absolutely. A complete reversal from the first game that we saw and trying to read that, but very nice waiting for that option right there. Hard calling out that down B, but still getting a tech instead, and we're still seeing a really good option. Is that dash attack going to take it? It wow, absolutely okay. is. It is a little strong. Just a tiny little bit strong. And... You know, just swinging his fists. He's Luigi. Oh, that move, they should, I missed back when it didn't have a final hitbox because of a programming error. Anyway, uh, getting into the, getting back to this game right here, ninety percent. This is, yeah, this is it. This is the ledge trapping, the just like edge guarding, everything that Link wants to be abusing on Luigi's end is being done right now. Granted, there are still things that Luigi does that we all know he can do. Uh, all right, not going to actually be getting the zero to death or anything like that, and he needed that zero to death. He desperately needed that zero to death because now he's back in this position being at the ledge. He is cool that he can detonate the bomb instantly with his uh, fireballs, but that was still happened with you. so good on Delta Force. Remember how we were talking about how Delta Force was waiting for, uh, was waiting or needed to wait for a lot of these options. That's exactly what Delta Force did and waited every single time for that down, um, for the down tilt into tech read, for the, um, you know, a lot of the back air into, you know, just the weight. That's exactly what he needed. And instead of just um, using, like, how would you say, um, instead of using, like, a fair, he would use, um, he would just use boomerang instead to kind of cover all of these options. And so good on Delta Force's part. And we're going right back to PS2. And let's see what Scott has to say about this. All right. Nice, recognizing, learning those defensive habits and punishing them. Delta Force starting to come alive. That game one is a distant memory. This is looking exactly like game two, and we all know how game two ended. So this is a great position for him. This is so good on Delta Force's part, just continuing on with the lead trap and blowing himself up in um, an, an accident. But we are seeing... Ooh, God is re responding in kind, putting on so much damage. Are we going to see that down B? Yes, we yep. are, and that's going to lead to Delta Force losing his first stock. But I feel like Delta Force has a lot to say about this, and especially because of this lead trapping so far. Okay, Ooh. that was that's happened again. Yeah, you can't hang out too much at the ledge right there. Um, I think maybe uh, maybe part of what he was doing is he was trying to react to Link pressing the detonation, but then the bomb itself like clipped him just a little bit. I, I don't know exactly. He spent way too much time on the ledge right there and got punished for it. Absolutely. This is so good. And again, with the waiting, but still getting caught up on that down B. He's to position himself a little bit better, but still getting that F tilt, throwing them right back off stage and trying to do something. Very nice for that wait right there, getting that jump just in time, but we're still in a very precarious situation for Scott right now, still mm. throwing him right back off stage. This is so scary. Okay, Ooh, and yeah, very nice. never able to get out of the corner. This is exactly how Link should be winning this matchup. This is so good. And again, I really love to point out this really good ledge trapping. If you need to know how to ledge trap, this is one of the best people to learn how to ledge trap from is Delta Force, especially with all of these tools at his disposal. It's just looking so good right now, but we're seeing a lot of percent being done right now on to Scott and getting that combo breaker right there with that Nair and not getting the kill on the up smash, but that back air will take it and only at 41%. And yeah. the way that Scott is going to have to take this game is that he has to find that one kill option. I, I think that honestly he is sort of made the gap so much less that he has more than one path to victory right now. He can also play patient and get hits here and there until he gets an up tilt to a B or something like that. He doesn't need to go crazy with trying to find the grab because that's what D uh, Delta Force was expecting. You saw it, spending a lot of time on the platforms being aerial based. Uh, and honestly, Ooh, that was good. Yeah. That was, that was real good. That was real good. <laughs> I'm sorry. That, yeah, was, no, that, that was, was that was that was good. Just say that it was good because you know it was good. I think that was the second stock he took that game with that sort of bomb off stage play, right? Yep. But yeah, see, like here was the exact same thing. Throws the bomb, boom. Wait, that was the last stock you just saw. 
can we really just say that again when it comes to a lot of these options, I oh, think it man. really did just take a little bit of time for Delta Force to catch on to those options because it's so imperative that you yeah. know how to get out. And Luigi doesn't have that many of them. He mm -hmm. does have certain good options. He definitely does. You know, he can throw a fireball to make you have to sort of stop in place and not just swing at the ledge. He does have things like down B, which have, you know, invincibility and ridiculous hitboxes. He has certain tools that can get him off the ledge, but he don't have a whole toolbox of them. And it seems that now Delta Force has figured out how he can play around multiple options at once, which gives Scott no opportunity to actually engineer his way back onto stage. Absolutely, and this is just such a really good game, and I'm really excited to see what Scott is planning to do in kind to all of what you know Delta Force has been doing, especially since a lot of the time he's still been trying to wait and trying to be giving a lot, you know, more depth into what he's actually doing, but it's not working out too well. That down B is gonna be already able to start us off with some minimal damage right here, but this is still again so scary again for Scott because he has to figure out some way to start this neutral, I this mean, game plan going. Or he needs to get more mileage off of being on the stage. Oh, that was neat. Um, uh, but not, I, that uh, B, I kind of love that. That's an option we hadn't really seen. And definitely Scott was not expecting to get hit from that far away. And up B is the one option that would hit him from that exact max range. That up B though, well, it didn't have to be max range. The close range version almost killed outright. He's going to be forced to up B, and that bomb is still just right there on the ledge. We've seen that exact thing, that exact little bouncing bomb. Oh, what are you? you oh, you are stuck. <laughs> oh, he, he read that roll, but didn't actually commit to punishing there. And now we have Scott. He's the one doing this ledge trap. Can he actually turn it into a stock? He does. Oh, what oh, a down air. That was a very nice down air trading with Delta Force, but... We're still in a very scary situation right here. This is really scary right now because Delta Force has to find something to kill this dock. I don't know if up throw is going to be able to do it just yet. Okay, well, <laughs> up tilt is yep. more than enough. That same position of what do you do with your Lu as, as Luigi when that bomb is just sitting right at the lip of the stage? Do you roll on? No, that's not working. Can you jump? Mm, that's a problem, too. It's something that Scott has yet to really find an answer for. Uh, and as we move to the later stages of this game, he doesn't have that much more chances. Oh, wait. Oh, oh right. I forgot ow. Luigi can always do that. Yeah, just a little bit can do that sometimes, not all the time, but that was, again, really good on Scott right there and making this lead so much harder for Delta Force to get through. We need to see Delta yeah. Force come up with something. And also, now Delta Force, you can see it. He's more pressured to actually approach, and that's when Scott starts throwing out these aerials to stuff him. That's where he's getting some more damage in, but if he's able to keep him off the stage once more, just get more and more mileage off of a single opening, is that gonna do it? It's not dead just yet. <gasps> and reverses! Oh, what a, what a dreadful reverse right there. That totally would have been Scott's death, but now Scott is okay dead anyway. That was that was really nice. I'm gonna be honest. Oh god, that was so good on Delta Force's end, and still keeping this as even as possible, and using that bomb to his advantage, and getting all these backers, and again reading that. Really nice reading that on Delta Force's end, but still... Bomb enhanced. Just want that. Yeah, no, we had to throw it away, and that throwing animation was a commitment that actually got him punished. Oh, where is it? There it is! Ooh. He finds it. Wow, it felt like that, mo that game could have slipped away. Absolutely from oh. Delta Force, but he kept his head about him and he realized what was giving him so much mileage, what was allowing him to just close out games, and it was those singular ledge traps with that little yes. bouncing ball. Absolutely, oh. it created so much depth and so much like thought process behind, and it made Scott so scared to be able to do something and just led to so much damage that it didn't even matter that a lot of the time that you know Delta Force would be dying, especially that second stock of Delta Forces did die to that really nice Luigi combo, but it just didn't matter half of the time. And I was so 
good. And again, I just love talking about it. I love lat trapping. I love like really good cases of where we're seeing a lot of fundies, a lot of neutral, a lot of heavy, um, heavily, you know, fundies based yeah. things. Also, I like that there was a bit of an early detonation on the bomb right there. Mm -hmm. It was at like the very max radius where it connected. If he had waited a little bit too long, it could have been that Scott was prepping an air dodge, was looking to air dodge through it, but it exploded just a little bit sooner than he was expecting, closing out the game. So great stuff to Delta Force. Going to be moving on in the loser's bracket, keeping himself alive here at Defend the North. Now, unfortunately, Absolutely. we are not going to be keeping ourselves alive at Defend the North as we have to hop off the mic, but we are going to be replaced by lovely, lovely commentators, some of the best commentating talent in New York City. Is Absolutely. Just the New York area is here tonight, so we hope you guys are enjoying it. Well, before um, we do go, Salty Fun, where can they find you? Where can they find me? Uh... Under the bridge, but if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's <laughs> at salty fun underscore SSB. And where well, for me, um, if you like little gremlin people, that's me. <laughs> I'm not under the bridge, but you can still find me laughing like a little gremlin somewhere. I'm at Jazzy G, the Bayonetta Connoisseur, where you can find me at t uh, Twitter, Twitter, Jazzy with three G's, three Z's. Oh my god, Dramosin, Jazzy with three Z's, Dramosin on Twitter. Follow me because I'm so nice and I'm so wonderful and I love having the chance to be able to commentate with you, my lovely caster. Oh, yes. Salty. Why are you No. What is I don't know this what is, this is. Oh, this there is, we go. Yeah. There we go. This is, this, is what's, <laughs> this is what Smash is all about. Yes, hugs. absolutely. Appreciate okay. you so much, but we will have to say goodbye to you guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Craig? Craig, you still with me?